This is the homework for 921, 922, 923, and 934. In 921, you need to find the measure of the missing angle in each triangle and then classify the triangle as acute, right, or obtuse. And for the acute, the greatest angle uh, measure is less than 90. In a right angle, it's 90 degrees. And in obtuse, the greater greatest measure is greater than 90. To find the missing measure of a triangle, you have to remember that the sum of the interior angles equals 180 degrees. So 35 plus 90 plus y will equal 180 degrees. Combine like terms. 35 plus 90 is 125. Inverse property of addition is subtraction. So we subtract 125 from both sides, and we get y equals 55. And the greatest angle is 90 degrees. The greatest measure is 90 degrees. So it's a right triangle. And always check to make sure that um, you did it correctly by um, taking the sum of the three measures. 35 plus 90 plus 55 does equal 180 degrees. For B, we have 65 plus 55 plus x will equal 180 degrees. Combine like terms. 55 plus 65 is 120. Inverse property of addition is subtraction. Subtract 120 from both sides, and we get 60. x equals 60. And just to make sure you did it correctly, you should add 65 plus 55 equals 120 plus 60 equals 180. And the greatest measure is 65 degrees. This is a cute triangle. For 922, we need to find the measures of the angles requested and explain how you found them. Remember that each part is a separate problem. So for part A, if the measure of angle 4 equals 61 degrees, so here's angle 4 is 61, and we need to find the measure of angle 6. Well, these are same side interior angles, and same side interior angles add up to 180. So if we know that these two equal 180, we subtract 61, and we get 119. And remember, if um, I call these beach balls, and if you color the beach balls the same, blue, red, blue, red, and then this same left corner, blue, red, blue, red, you can see that here, these are supplementary angles. They add up to 180 degrees. So if you have a blue and a red angle, regardless of where they are, their sums will equal 100, their sum will equal 180 degrees. So we have a blue and a red. So even if you forget that these are s that same side interior angles, equal 180 degrees. You just remember that if you have a blue and a red or two different colors, they're going to be supplementary, add up to 180 degrees. If they're the same color, they'll equal each other. They'll be congruent. For part B, measure of angle 1 equals 48 degrees. And we have to find the measure of angle 8. Well, they're the same color, and they're also alternate interior, I mean alternate exterior. They're outside of the parallel line, so they're alternate exterior angles, and those are congruent angles. And they're both blue. They're the same color, so they're equal to each other. So the measure of angle 8 will be 48 degrees. For part C, the measure of angle 2 is 137. Then the measure of angle 8, so if now we see that these are opposite colors, um, and so we have a red and a blue, and earlier we talked about how opposite colors were going to be our supplementary angles, so they'll add up to 180 degrees. So 180 minus 
137, this angle, will give us 43 degrees. For 923, we need to graph the rule y equals 2x minus 6. Remember, this is the rate of change, or the slope. This is the y-intercept, or initial value, what you're starting with. So I highlighted the y-axis, and I did that because that w is where the y-intercept will be located on the y-axis at negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. So from there, we know we have a growth growth rate of 2, and I could write this as 2 over 1, because 2 divided by 1 is 2, so it has a growth rate of positive 2 over positive 1, positive 2 over 1, 2 over 1, 2 over 1, and it's a constant growth rate of 2 over 1. For problem 934, we need to solve for the variable, so we're solving for x. Here we have a straight angle, or a line, and we know a straight angle has a measure of 180 degrees. These two angles are supplementary. Their sums equal 180 degrees. So we know that 132 plus 2x plus 3 equals 180 degrees. So now we combine like terms. 132 plus 3 is 135. Inverse property of addition is subtraction. We subtract 135 from both sides, and we get 2x equals 45. Inverse property of multiplication is division. Created the big one. Divide both sides by 2, and 45 divided by 2 is x equals 22 and 5 tenths. If we were to, if we needed to find this measure, we could just this angle, 182 minus 132 would equal 58, this angle right here. But the directions were just stating to find the variable x. For problem b, we need to find the measure of angle d. And here we have a straight angle, and we know that this straight angle has a measure of 180 degrees, so 180 minus this angle, 131, will equal D. 180 minus 31 is 49, so D equals 49 degrees. To find E, now that we know this is 49, and this is a right angle of 90 degrees, we know that this angle plus this angle plus this angle will equal 180 degrees. That's the triangle sum method, adding the three interior angles. And here we have D equals 49 degrees. 49 plus 90 is 139. Inverse property of addition is subtraction, so we subtract 139, and we get E equals 41 degrees. Now, always make sure that you check, because 49 plus 41 plus 90 should equal 180, and this does.